Good evening, happy 2017, first official, well I guess I did one on New Year's Eve, <laughs> day, evening, coming home, actually morning, <laughs> that was my first official uh, vlog, gig log for 2017, uh, I guess this is my first official, official one, I don't know how you classify it, but uh, my first wedding of the year, 2017, is now done and in the books, and it was great, and for me, if the first one of the year starts out good, the last one of the year is going to start. It, it just, for me, it's a sign of good luck when you have something that just everything went perfect. There, I can be tapping on something right now. <laughs> you know, I'm not superstitious. Well, I am, but anyway. But no, it's serious. This, I mean, nothing went wrong. Nothing. You know, I, I mean. <laughs> you know, the bride and groom took a little bit extra time when it came to the pictures. They snuck out for a little bit. And I mean, that, you know, caused a little, you know, time lag, but not a lot. You know, it was maybe a 10 minute delay. And normally, I mean, I'm really up on that kind of stuff. So I just want to make sure everything is going according to plan and how it's supposed to be going. And, you know, we, we've only got a limited amount of time to get things done. And by the way, tonight was an early one. Yeah, I was here early uh, early in the morning for the uh, for the setup and ceremony and everything but yeah ultimately this this wedding went fantastic um, it did change a few times uh, going into it like initially it was supposed to be just reception at a private residence in Fallbrook then it changed to um, they had some musicians for ceremony that uh, kind of fell through so then they asked me to do the ceremony okay so that's another location so that location got added and then they changed it um, I think their concern was weather you know they weren't sure if it was going to rain or you know just they thought the weather overall uh, was this going to be too cold or something so <coughs> excuse me so they changed it again um, and they just they just put it at their church which all Realistically, that was the best place for it. It was a real nice church in Fallbrook uh, that had a real nice sanctuary inside, and that's where the uh, reception was held. The reception was outside. Or, yeah, dude, I'm crazy. Uh, backwards. The ceremony was outside. Reception was in the sanctuary, and it was awesome. It was great. It was perfect. Um, the clients were very happy at the end of the night. They thanked me. Uh, we did a grand send-off, and it was awesome. And uh, a, a buddy of mine that uh, works for a kidding company uh, was, was here, and that was kind of cool to pass the time and chat with him and, and his girl a little bit because they work together. So, um, yeah, all in all, great night, awesome sign of a, an amazing uh, year. So um, that's that's good luck. So, uh, you kind of expect it. You know, uh, uh, excuse me, yawning. One thing to go wrong, you know, one thing, you know. Okay, well, there's here's something to talk about. But, uh, yeah, no, nothing went wrong. <laughs> um, highlights tonight. Highlights were awesome. Uh, meaning what I thought was a highlight of the night was uh, the bride's dad had made some desserts. Um, they had got just a real small cake uh, for cutting. And uh, he made some... Uh, uh, some like brownies and he made some lemon bars and he made a gelato um, and a sorbet and the sorbet he made I mean uh, it was to dive the lemon bars were great too that was all I really had was the sorbet but the sorbet was it was a grapefruit sorbet oh my god good couldn't stop eating it <laughs> it was great it, and that's an idea you know it, doing different things you know that's that's always a good thing it doesn't always have to be cake. Um, and the, the, the dad went to the, uh, which it didn't sound like it was a big deal at all, went to that and made made some wonderful treats for everybody and everyone was talking about it. And, and that was one of the highlights of the night was one of those, that, that, uh, that sorbet, at least for me, that sorbet, that was it. Grapefruit sorbet was just to die for, loved it. Um, yeah, so that was that was a highlight. Um, um, not really like a highlight, but I think something that I chuckled about, something that I found amusing. Uh, the bride and groom are really young, and it was funny because the officiate hadn't pronounced him yet, and the groom was already leaning in to kiss her. 
<laughs> and everybody got it because he got to stop. I'm like, well, wait, hold on. <laughs> like, I haven't pronounced you yet and said, may you kiss, you may kiss the bride. You know, so he was like jumping the gun. But it, that was, that was a, um, that was a chuckle. That was a, a fun moment. Um, that I thought was just, that was, that was cool. So, um, and again, the clients were nice and everyone else was, was nice as well. So I had a good time. So all in all, very good. I'm going to keep this one short. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, all of my content, all of my vlogs, all of my, uh, uh, videos that I do produce and everything like that, just to kind of get an idea about, you know, who I am and what I do. So, um, thanks again for your support. And if you ever have any questions, please feel free, email me, shoot me a phone call, and I would love to chat with you. Thanks again for watching. Take care.